I do whooping, you know, lightweight stuff. I do fly a little bit of analog, so this goggle here, this HD Zero goggle, is great for that. Uh oh, never say last pack. And this is why you put LEDs on your drone. Let's try and get it. All right, in we go. Oh, there you are. So, got kept on tape all over this sucker. We'll just uh, beat the devil out of it. Whew. This will be a bit of a single take, I think. So why do I fly HD0? Why do I promote it? I would say it's because no one else will promote it. Everybody's so focused on uh, range and penetration. And I'm out here going, hey, I, I just really like to fly and I like it to be super smooth and locked in. And I like to fly around my backyard, around my house. Yeah, I get some sparkles and stuff. This is 200 milliwatt, by the way. Um, but, you know, I'm flying within my bounds and it's fun. Um, that I can't, I can't really explain, like, just how raw and uh, good feeling it is to fly HD0 compared to other things. And I don't think others can explain it too well either. So they fall back on uh, just range and penetration and uh, static image quality tests and stuff like that. And that really obscures just how awesome it is to fly HD0 with just the, it's this so butter smooth um, there's never frame drops on these goggles um, there's no image smearing it's just raw and uh, yeah it's just one of those things you won't understand until you try it um, it's beautiful so I'm not trying to outrange penetrate um, I'm not trying to out-resolution anything. I'm not trying to make any claims. I'm just saying this is an experience that you have to try yourself. I, it, it's beautiful looking. Um, I mean, tell me that's not pretty. Uh, yeah, just try it yourself. That's what I say. And, uh, you know, fly within its limits. It's, you know, typically visual line of sight limits anyway. And I guarantee you come at it with an open mind, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's beautiful.
That was close.